All right, going up the E minor pentatonic, down the D minor pentatonic. They're still in the key of C major. In fact, you have three pentatonics that happen in any major key. So where your three minor chords are, you will have three minor pentatonics. So you have the D minor, E minor, and A minor chords in the key of C. You have a D minor, E minor, and A minor pentatonic scale you can find within there. So, just a little piece of theory, theory knowledge there. All right, 60 beats per minute. Number one, here we go. One, two, three, four. One twenty, one, two, three, four. things just get through it get through this guy and hopefully you never forget what the B diminished shape is ever again and remember that shape is movable so you can start that diminished shape anywhere anywhere on the A string for the root note that is and you got yourself a diminished chord So, <clears throat> some things to help. Let's go over the anchor fingers again. All right, 
So some places where the anchor fingers happen, going from the B diminished into the D minor, the ring finger doesn't move. So back and forth between the B diminished and the D minor, the ring finger does not move. All right, going from the B diminished to the E minor, what you can do is keep the index finger down. I have to like scoot it back a little bit, I think, to get the middle finger down. But index finger stays on the same fret. So yeah, you just have to scoot your hand back a little bit to make sure the index finger and middle finger can take up the same fret. And then going between the B diminished and G chord, index finger stays put once again. So B diminished into a very short G chord. Even if you were playing all six strings, if you use this version, you can still play it like that. You could also do this one. So you could do it this way. I find that more difficult than it needs to be. Much easier to do it that way. That's just me. Okay. Um, so I know like the idea is like going from the C chord to the G chord like that. I don't know. I've just done it this way so many times. It's just easier. Anyhow, so recap on that. So B diminished to D minor. You have the ring finger as an anchor. Going from B diminished to E minor, your index finger is an anchor. Same thing with going from B diminished to G, the index finger is an anchor. Whichever chords you have the most challenge transitioning into, uh, single those out and just go back and forth between those. All right, so let's demo this guy at 60. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. B diminished. C major. B diminished. D minor. B diminished. E minor. B diminished, F major, B diminished, G, B diminished, A minor. So I was saying the names of the chords just to help me remember what the heck it is I'm doing. And to try preventing myself from sliding my hand into the wrong place. There you go. All right. Uh, I think that covers it there. Uh, as far as the chord progression, my number thing. Still work on the fourth progression for the key of C. Once you can play through that comfortably, then move on to the key of G. And use your chord sheets that you had filled out all of those different major scale stuff all those major keys reference that just to double check that you have the correct chords okay uh, and then yeah stay with one progression at a time until you get through it with no mistakes and if you don't have time to finish it all no big deal we'll just do some more next week and but we will get it all done eventually all right, any questions, let me know. I will see you next week.